what is going on and welcome to our first ever Call of Duty World War 2 bots match with the allies versus the Axis. It's currently 0-0 zero zero, obviously because it's the first match ever but we're going to hop right into it and here we go. And here we go, guys. Search and Destroy on St. Mary de Mont. Uh, an interesting map for Search and Destroy, um, especially with the bots. Because um, the bots aren't the best, as we all know. Bots aren't amazing. But as we hop right into it, we're going to see the new Codcaster and the new vision we get to see from the air. But we're going to be trying to mix it up and, and stay good. Here we have the Axis versus the Axis versus the Allies. And we're going to be hopping on with Utah right off the bat using that M1 Garand and pushing up. It looks like towards this B bomb site and pushing towards mid as well. They're going to be running into a few players here. As you can see with the X-ray vision, they don't see each other here. Fox Chase gets taken down with that M1 Garand. Utah with the first kill of the match. And he's going to be moving up towards that building. As you can see, he's running into a few players, and it looks like they're planting that bomb towards A. Let's go over to X-Ray, who's about to get that bomb planted. And as he stands up, he's going to get fired upon? No, he doesn't. He's able to get away to the side. Um, this bomb site, an interesting bomb site, uh, really open, and Utah gets taken down by a throwing knife from, from Item. And X-Ray looks like he's about to go down. If he gets shot in the back, he does. Item the last one alive with the SVT pushing around, tr trying to see where he can get to. He sees the guy on bomb. He's able to kill him. One more alive. Can he get him? And he does with the knife. What a kill. <laughs> and let's look at this. He gets the Bronze Stars with that double kill at the end. W with that knife going off right there. Item with a huge play. And that's going to be a round. For the allies uh, an interesting first round obviously we don't know all the call outs for the match yet we don't know everything but we're just getting in here now we're gonna switch over to item who obviously just had that huge clutch round right there and we're gonna stick with him and see what he does he's pulls out the Molotov and he's pushing right through the building he's gonna be running up on someone can he get the Molotov off he does but it looks like he almost runs in it himself gets another knife and oh gets the tea bag on Jupiter and Ant Anton able to get a kill here. He's going to be planting the bomb. And as you can see, Item just running down the middle of the map. Getting kills. Getting almost kind of lucky as you can see. He's still going. Can he get the kill on Anton? They're running in circles around each other. He's just going to go for the defuse. And I don't think Anton realizes. Let's go into the third person view here. They're all not looking and he's going to get the ninja off. No, he, he does. Yes. The ninja defuse from Item. Running down the middle of the map and they just totally disregarded and almost lost him. I, I think from the explosion of the bomb, they, they almost lost him there. And he was able to get the defuse and that's another huge round from him. Item almost carrying his team 6 and oh, no one else on his team has a kill actually. So fully carrying his team here. But he's going to run into some opposition here as they run into it. X-Ray though able to get one of the kills. X-Ray finally gets taken down but Anton able to get the grenade down. And able to get in, and with the help of Fox Chase, able to get another kill. And the last player for Axis is Utah, but at the wrong bomb site. As we can see here, he's going to be running into some opposition. He sees Fox Chase, but he's going to stick away from him. And with this new camera angle, we can see what he's about to run into as he comes around this corner. He's probably going to get killed. Item looking his way as he comes around the corner. Not even able to get one. Absolutely dominated right there. And he almost pretty much had no chance there. Now the allies up three to nothing. And as we look at the the kill here by Utah. Going huge. And actually, I might be mistaken here. No, no, we're not mistaken. That is the kill. That is the round for allies. And we're gonna we're gonna follow Axis here. We're gonna see what they're doing. Anton obviously they look like they're pushing towards a bomb site this time. We're gonna go back into the first person view. 
Sorry if it's a little stuttery. I'm still trying to get used to the Codcaster. They're going to run up here. Utah sees Item. Item obviously going off here. 7 and L, but finally gets taken down. Anton with the huge kill there. And they're going to get the bomb down. And, and take control here. They're all in the bomb site. Having it shut down. And as you can see, there's a player down the street. They're starting to get pushed down. We're going to switch over to X right here. Who pushes into the bomb site. Gets a grenade. And starts getting shots down with that MP40. Able to get one with the nade. Utah looking at him. Who's going to get the kill here? And Utah gets the kill very luckily there. Fox Chase running into the building. Doesn't decide to go up the stairs, or maybe he will. Able to here with the gunfight with that M1 Garand. So gets the kill. I, I thought he was going to get destroyed there. Runs into the bomb site, and <laughs> gunfights are going down. Able to get another one. It's going to be a 2v1 here. Anton trying to clutch up for his team. Able to get one, but isn't able to get the other one. But there's just not enough time. For the allies to get that round and Alex Axis finally get a round on the board and a, a really needed round there going down four nothing is almost an impossible to try to come back you're eventually going to get a round or two just unluckily taken from you most of the time that happens and, and there we go Axis making up for some of their mistakes figuring out themselves here gaining a little bit more composure and now they're gonna be defending here and we'll see what they do. They're going to follow on with their top player, Anton. He's going to be running over to that A bomb site. And he's going to run into a few players here. As you can see, Fox Chase through that wall, pushing towards A. And he's going to run into them eventually. But I don't think they see X-Ray. No, he decides not to go down mid street. But behind them, they don't see him. Fox Chase is right there. He's able to get a grenade off. Finally gets taken down by Utah. And now it's going to be a 2v4. Item getting taken down. X-Ray, the last alive. Able to get one. It's going to be a 1v3 now. He's running that Lewis. And he's going to try to get the bomb down here. An interesting play. But he should get taken down by Anton. And he finally does. Anton killing him in the back. Two rounds for Axis. Three to two. Allies are in the lead though. And Axis making a little bit of a comeback here. Something they, uh, they seem to be doing very well. And almost two easy, easy rounds for them. Might have figured something out, something the allies were doing, and they're they're starting to just play how they should, uh, and play how they have been throughout the whole entire bot tournament. And we're gonna follow them again. Uh, we're gonna follow on with Anton though. Anton deciding to go A while the rest of his team goes B, but no, decides to hit mid street and he's actually gonna flip over. Probably getting calls from his team. They think they hear a few people here and able to get behind X-ray. X-ray running around. He hears the shots but decides to back up. Jupiter trying to get the bomb down. And if we go to this third person camera, we're going to see that there's really no ally players anywhere near Abel starting to run down this mid street towards Jupiter. We're going to switch back to Jupiter to that first person. He sees Abel. Is he able to get the kill on him? That's the question here. He's running that MG15, a pretty well developed light machine gun. Could get. A nice kill with it if he decides to, but he decides to reload, interestingly. So we're going to go back to William and Anton, who are sitting inside. Anton almost gets the kill. Able, able to get the, <laughs> the kill on him, but William takes him down. And there we go. That's another round for the Axis side. It's 3-3, three to three, all tied up here from 3 nothing to 3-3. Three to three. And the Allies just haven't been able to figure this out. They, they just started losing, and it all toppled down from their little streak in the beginning and they got to figure themselves out soon because at this rate some <laughs> they're not going to be able to win and as you can see item hasn't got a kill in the last three rounds still seven kills to his name and the axis team starting to really play and we're going to follow anton again who's currently the highest uh has the highest kills for the access team and he's running towards that a bomb site but now they got to realize that stuff's going down there's got to be kills on b utah over near that b bomb site right behind him able to get one william with the double kill and there we go another round for the access it just seems too easy i don't i'm not even sure if the allies even got a kill on that round and here is this a three piece from william it is my goodness gets the three piece and that just that cannot happen Four to three axis with the huge comeback, and we're gonna stick with them. I mean, they're doing so well. William with that three piece, we're gonna stick with him right off the bat. Maybe use a little more of this cool new camera that we have been able and been given by the COD community to use. 
and William going to be rushing in here. He's going to follow into three players, throws the Molotov, isn't able to do anything. As you can see Anton able to get one kill, but Abel kind of running away, trying to get a different view site as he moves away. Anton trying to, now oh, in streaks coming in here, as you can see, Item pulls out his streaks. The item does go down at the same time. Abel and Anton about to run into each other. It's a 1v3. We're going to follow Anton. We're going to go into the first person mode. Anton has to be careful though. And he sees Abel. Is he going to get the kill here? Some bad shots from him. And that's going to be the round if they can hop on the bomb here. Hopefully. I think. I think. Abel. There we go. Doing a little teabag right there. Showing his dominance. Item pulls out the streaks though. That he did get the earlier rounds and using them very effectively. Now we're tied up four to four. And in an interesting round there, uh, I, I for sure thought the Axis had the advantage, but apparently they did not. And now we're going to go back. I think we'll, we'll go back to following item. It looks like they're going to go towards the A bombs. They haven't picked up the bomb yet. Finally, there we go. They pick up the bomb. And it looks like for once, I think the first time this round actually, they're going for the A bomb site. And they're going to get into a gunfight here. He sees William. He decides to shoot, finally. Gets him in the back. And he's going to run into Anton here. Will he be able to get him? He just decides to throw a nade, but luckily X-Ray is there. And x is going to start planting the bomb. We're going to switch over to the Axis, though, with the 2v4 on their hands. Utah and Jupiter, the two uh, worst KDs on the team, are the two left alive. And we'll see if they're able to clutch up here. We're going to go into our third-person view of the bomb site. As you can see, they're all set up in almost a perfect formation here. Jupiter about to run in and find Fox Chase. Not looking at him, but he's still going to get taken down. Utah, as you can see, pushing him from this side. He's going to run into two players and gets the knife. And it's going to be 5-4 to the allies. Uh, another close round. Just two unlucky deaths, causing a 2v4. And once you hit a 2v4, it's almost impossible to come back from that. So there we go. 5-4, to four, the allies. Not choking totally. Able to get another two rounds on the board. And we're going to stay with the allies here who might be able to shut it down here. We're going to follow Item, the top KD in the lobby as of this moment. And he's going to be running to A by himself. But it looks like he's going to get some support here. They decided to come from that mid street and support him. Probably getting some call outs there. He's going to run into a few players here. Utah running out. He's not able to get the shots on. He gets taken down no he still hasn't got taken down jupiter kills william and item kills jupiter with a weird nade spree there abel though over on the b bomb site by himself it's a 1v2 anton and utah the last alive as well for access and we're gonna see here that the bomb is still where is the bomb actually i think it's being planted on a it's hard to see it's not perfect Codcaster, and he realizes the bomb just went down. He's gonna have to run over. 40 seconds isn't that much time, especially when two players who probably aren't that close to the bomb site, and he has to take them both down. He's not gonna be getting this ninja defuse, and he starts running towards this back alley, towards this back trailer, poor shed, and he's gonna be walking up onto somebody, but he doesn't see him, and he might get taken down here if he doesn't turn around. He's going to. Get the, yep, finally, there's the knife, and we're going to a round 11. My dear God. And right here, I thought he Abel might be able to get that turn on, but he decides to go for the defuse again. And th that's just a interesting play. I mean, I think he knew he was done for, and there's really no point to go for the kill if he knows he's not even going to get it. But here we go, round 11. We're going to be hopping on with item the top player in the lobby and in the tournament so far so far for the bots running towards that mid street and it looks like they're going to be running towards B trying to get the plant down he doesn't realize that another player just ran down mid towards him and we're going to see who gets the first kill here they two kills going down for allies i didn't even see that but item getting a team kill with the grenade on fox chase and it's going to be a 2v3 here utah and jupiter the last two alive for the access uh, Jupiter running down with that MP40. He has actually a decent spot here. He's gotten through a few players, but he might have just been spotted there by X-Ray behind him. He has eyes on Abel, but he's just going to go for the Ninja Defuse. I think he just got seen here. He has by Abel. Utah the last alive. A 1v3 and gets taken down. The allies 
clutching up and not choking the match. And there we go. The allies take your first SND from the access. And almost, they almost choked it there. Going up three rounds to zero and then falling three rounds instantly. Three to three. But able to finish it six to five in a round 11. And there we have it, folks. The allies are going to be your first round champs right there. So thank you guys, and we're going to go to a quick commercial break. So we'll see you when we get back.